15 proven health benefits of cycling. The practice of very few activities has as many benefits for health, the environment and the economy as cycling. Cycling has many benefits, some are better known than others and, besides that we can all easily enjoy them. They are much more extensive than saving time in your transfers, money in the maintenance of a private car or the passage of public transport. We consult academic studies and present you the most interesting benefits that we find for using the bicycle regularly. 1. Improves cognitive functions. Pedaling every day is powerful fuel for your brain. Exercising regularly is linked to brain health and reduced cognitive changes that can leave us vulnerable to dementia later in life. This study, in older adults, found that, during exercise, cyclists' blood flow to the brain increased by 28% and up to 70% in areas related to analytical thinking. And not only that, in some areas the blood flow was maintained at 40% even after they stopped pedaling. Increased blood flow in the brain is good because it favors the neurotransmitters that keep our brain healthy. The study concluded that we must pedal for 45 to 60 minutes, at 75 to 85 percent of our heart rate to obtain and maintain this benefit. 2. Strengthen your immune system. This study has found that cycling in addition to containing the effects of aging, rejuvenates the immune system. The findings, described in two articles in Aging Cell, showed that cyclists preserved muscle mass and strength with age, while maintaining stable levels of body fat and cholesterol. In men, testosterone levels remained high. More surprisingly, the anti-aging effects of cycling seem to extend to the immune system. An organ called the thymus, which produces immune cells called T-cells, normally begins to shrink after the age of 20. But it was found that the thymuses of older cyclists generated as many T-cells as those of the young. 3. Exposes you to less pollutants than in the car. Many cyclists, especially inhabitants of large and polluted cities, may find this benefit contradictory, and they are not the only ones. But a study by the Healthy Air Campaign, King's College London and Camden Council, analyzed air pollution detectors that accompanied in their transfers to a motorist, a bus user, a pedestrian and a cyclist using the same busy route through central London. The results showed that the motorist experienced pollution levels five times higher than the cyclist, as well as three and a half times higher than the pedestrian and two and a half times higher than the bus user. 4. Improve your sex life. It did not take long for science to disprove the myth that many claimed that riding a bicycle negatively influenced the sexual lives of cyclists. A study by J. Edic Health Promote concluded that there is a positive relationship between good physical condition and good sexual health. The results indicate that the sexual experience and behavior of men and women is strongly linked to the individual's self-concept. Therefore, a few kilometers a week will help you maintain a good physical condition and a healthy sex life. 5. Improves attentional processing. Driving safety is related to the health of drivers, pedestrians and cyclists. This study published in the journal Accident Analysis and Prevention found that cyclists are more attentive to their surroundings and therefore have better attention to their changes, making them better motorists. The researchers formed three groups, the largest was made up of 42 experienced motorists between the ages of 30 and 50, of whom 17 were women and 25 were men. There were also 22 drivers and 20 driver cyclists. Using a change detection technique, subjects were shown two alternate images. Participants needed to determine whether they were identical or different in just one detail. The elements that changed were a traffic signal, a car, a pedestrian and a bicycle. Cyclist drivers were significantly faster than non-cyclist motorists in identifying changes, and the effect was greater for bicycle and signal changes. According to the researchers, the results suggest that the cycling experience is associated with more efficient attentional processing for road scenes. 6. Increase life expectancy. Regular physical activity reduces the risk of mortality from various factors such as hypertens, ion, diabetes, cancer, among others. This is indicated by an analysis of 13 studies that relate physical activity to life expectancy. Everything seems to indicate that physical activity during leisure time is more effective in increasing life expectancy, an average of 4.7 years in the case of women and 3.9 years for men which means that riding a bike to work or shopping can help prolong our life. 7. Reduces the effects of Parkinson's. Cycling can benefit people with Parkinson's disease, especially if they pedal hard and fast. 
This was the finding of Dr. J. Alberts, a neuroscientist at the Lerner Research Institute of the Cleveland Clinic, who, accompanied by a woman suffering from Parkinson's, used a tandem bicycle to compete in the Great Bike Race, a week-long race. These findings are supported by the results of research published by Front Neural. After pedaling for a few days, Alberts noticed that his cycling partner was showing signs of physical improvement, decreased tremors, his difficulty walking, etc., especially in his writing, which had become more legible and controlled. Finding that cycling, especially at higher intensity, makes the regions of the brain that deal with movement connect with each other more effectively, alleviating symptoms and delaying cognitive and physical degeneration. 8. Decreases the risk of developing cancer. Various researchers around the world have studied the relationship that exists between the practice of exercise and the reduction of the risk of developing cancer. Similarly, researchers have studied the benefits of cycling to inhibit the development of colon cancer by 40%, bowel cancer by 60% compared to sedentary people regardless of their body mass index. As well as reducing the risk of developing breast cancer by 80% by using the bicycle regularly. 9. You reduce the risk of developing cardiovascular diseases. Cardiovascular diseases include strokes, high blood pressure, and heart attacks. Danish research conducted on 30,000 people over 14 years showed that cycling regularly strengthens the heart, lungs and circulation, reducing the risk of developing cardiovascular diseases. 10. You strengthen more than the muscles of the legs. It is common to think that cycling only strengthens the muscles of the legs but its benefits go far beyond the legs. Studies show that in the power phase of pedaling risers, you use the gluteal muscles in the buttocks, the quadriceps in the thighs, and the gastrocnemius and soleus muscles in the calves. In the recovery phase downs, you use your hamstrings in the back of your thighs and your flexor muscles in the front of your hips. With cycling you also work your abdominal muscles to balance and stand upright, as well as your arm and shoulder muscles to support the handlebars and drive. 11. Reduces the risk of developing diabetes. Lack of physical activity is one of the main reasons why people develop type 2 diabetes. Research published in the US National Library of Medicine and National Institutes of Health by the Dutch found that people who pedaling for more than 30 minutes per day had a 40% lower risk of developing diabetes. 12. Avoid obesity and improve weight control. Cycling is a good way to avoid obesity, and control or reduce weight, as it increases your metabolic rate, builds muscle, and burns body fat. This is suggested by this research, which explains that to avoid obesity, at least 2000 calories must be metabolized through exercise on a weekly basis. Cycling burns about 300 calories per hour. If you cycle twice a day the calories consumed soon add up to and exceed the average to avoid obesity and increase weight control. Similarly, British research showed that a half-hour bike ride every day would burn almost 5 kilograms of fat over a year. 13. Fight depression. Dr. Gemma Trainer, a professor at King's College London with over 30 years of experience studying depression in children, youth and adults, recommends cycling to combat depression at any age. However, he emphasizes that it is more effective to treat depression in adults aged 40 to 50 years that, cycling gives a sense of purpose and allows them to take control of their life, thus reducing depression effectively and without medicaments. The effects of depression are different for everyone, but what is common to all who suffer from it is that they have low levels of neurotransmitters, such as serotonin and norepinephrine, which can be stimulated by exercise. Cycling, therefore, can help combat the chemical imbalances that cause depression, a serious illness that can lead to low mood, feelings of helplessness, self-harm and even suicide, by increasing the endorphins in your body, making you feel more happy and more positive, ending depression. 14. Reduce stress levels. A study carried out on 123 people by Concordia University, Montreal, Canada, found that those people who cycled to work showed a reduction in their stress levels. But that's not all, in addition, a significant increase in work performance and creativity was observed in people who commuted by bicycle. 15. Fight osteoporosis. Under optimal conditions, the body constantly absorbs and replaces bone tissue. As we age, this important function is lost and in many elderly people, osteoporosis develops, a disease that does not allow new bone tissue that was created to be enough to replace the one that was eliminated. A study carried out in elderly cyclists found that those older adults who suffered from osteoporosis and who were cyclists, over time recovered the ability to replace bone tissue. Even in cases in which the cyclist did cross-training, bone density also improved. 
so when they say that cyclists are tough heads, it is not that they are stupid, it is that they really have the strongest bones. I hope you like this video. Hit the like button and also press the bell follow icon to get notified each time upload a new video. Thanks for watching and are there any videos, in particular, you would like to see? Please let us know by commenting below.